Ask Reddit by Ruthless. How does McDonald's know they're struggling with lower income consumers? How do businesses know the salaries of their customers? Your credit card or debit card issuer sells your information. All your spending habits the amount you deposit from your paycheck. Shared with valued partners. Yep. Worked with a company that helped us connect data to bank account data. We only got the aggregated data back though, nothing at the user level. Surveys and market research. They have stores in many demographic areas. They have the data. Data is a commodity. We're the consumer and the product. Beyond old school customer surveys. Loyalty programs have data on customers, provided when registering, and then they track which locations a customer goes to, they can guess where a customer lives and works. Based on that data they have algorithms that guess income. So if a customers from certain neighborhoods are coming in less or buying less per visit they can guess from what their income is and check how they are doing with a certain income group versus the population as a whole. They hire polling agency to cold call and interview people who frequently go to fast food chains and one of the most common establishing questions is what is your monthly or annual income. Why would I spend $8 minus $15 on McDonald's? When for the same price to maybe plus dollar sign three more, I get authentic Mexican or Italian where I live. There's just no world where I pick them. Other chains have better food for the same price. That's an excellent question. My best guess is they compare sales in locations in poor neighborhoods versus those in wealthy neighborhoods. They can also match credit cards to aggregated income data. A big chunk of that data is going to be just based on location. In general, if you run a business somewhere, you know what the general income level is in that area just by looking at the nearby houses, schools, and businesses. High rises, golf courses, shiny office buildings, and suburbs with large houses? Probably a high income area, and your clientele are going to be mostly from that demographic. Rundown houses. Graffiti, cracked roads, and a lot of homeless people everywhere? Probably a low income area, and the clientele are likely going to match. From there they just measure the performance of that specific location and can draw a conclusion like our Skid Row, East St. Louis, and the Bronx locations aren't doing too well, therefore it's a sign we're struggling with lower income consumers. Because course spy on us more than the guff does. Filter the franchise is located in low-income neighborhoods. Study revenue for the last four years. Hire urban planning studies in turns to identify macro and amp, macro socioeconomic shifts in neighborhood. Send report to the head of marketing. Create an action plan to boost sales or close stores. Pay the franchisee an exit fee. Shift demand from neighborhood X to neighborhood Y overhead is cut and problems solved. Franchise EY sees uptick in demand and becomes a happy camper. It's a good question, and begs an even greater question, what incentive does any corporation have to be affordable to the lower class in late stage capitalism? Probably a mix of methods which might include analysis of sales data from various nationwide locations with different income patterns and probably to lesser extent calling people for surveys. Their ice machines are always broken. That's the fuck why they are struggling. From the nanobots, du Your IP address, credit card number, license plate, and face are all unique identifiers that are floating around connected to all your other information. The marketing technology in use today is absolutely insane. When I worked at a pharma company, they could literally tell how many people watched their commercials because the IR receiver in smart TVs allows for detection of body heat in front of the TV. I'm watching a Yautub video, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com 
slash watch question mark vs mslf 5 albgs closed bracket about mcdonald's and other fast food places seeing less customers per year and they quoted mcdonald's q4 2023 earnings conference call transcript https colon slash slash www.rev.com slash blog slash transcripts slash mcdonald's dash q4 dash 2023 dash earnings dash conference dash call dash transcript closed bracket comma weather ceo says that they're struggling with lower income mayor percent 20 as percent 20 pressured how do they know the income of their customers dumbass ceos jacked up the prices on the food then wonder why poor people are buying less and not poor and i go their way less used to be that cheap i'm fucking hungry i have little time to eat this is the only place around food stop now it's like well if i'm gonna spend eight dollars something for the cheeseburger meal i might as well spend two dollars more and get something good like culver's the app knows all i suspect is very sinister now beyond market research it sounds like your bank sells your info. And I dig deeper into the sinister bit. McDonald's pushes their app hard. I bet it pulls some data down. Maybe other spending habits, maybe how many competitors apps you have on your phone. An example would be TikTok. It's believed the app steals info for Chinese use. So us is looking to ban it. Yeah the MC Donald's app is the only way reason to go to MC Donald's anymore get the deals because that's the only way the price matches their food they absolutely collect a lot of data from you though especially GPS data easy as fuck way to see where they can build another MC Donald's is where do our existing customers go? All they have to do is ask their employees. Unless you're using cash. Your tendencies and spending habits are easily available to any I invested party. Maccas can easily pay and see how many people making 30k or less a year are spending at McDonald's on a daily basis in a certain area of a city. They could also pay to see how much of your bandwidth goes to watching porn. You have no privacy these days. Well McDonald's did launch an app recently so I'd imagine they're collecting data on you through that otherwise I have no idea. Man hires consultant to find out why his retail store is going down in sales. Consultant says we will start with a demographic study of your customer base. Man asks demographic. Consultant says we will break them down by age, sex, and income. Man says if those things don't break him down nothing will. You can do that from random sampling. Hire a firm to ask people to get a representative sample, weight it as necessary, and ask their opinions. A sample size of 30 will generally give a very low margin of error. 